Okay. Uh, did I what? In what context did I say that? In yeah. Okay. No, no. I mean, it might be paranoia, mightn't it? Yeah. But, yeah I'm, I'm fucking this up. Now, I'll let you into a bit of a secret. Until recently, if it wasn't R.I., Shoei, A.G.V., Shark, I didn't think any other helmet would be rateable in any way. And that was before I was invited to wear this, Scorpion's ADF 9000. Uh, it's their top-of-the-range adventure helmet. I didn't think that I would end up liking this or rating this as highly as I did. I do even. I think what won me over is, well, I've used it, and that Mr. Quattararo chap, that rather fast Frenchman, he wears them, so I thought, well, if it's good enough for him, it's about to be half decent. Anyway, I've worn it for about six months now. It's me sort of number one choice when it comes to adventure bike riding. I've used it for a bit of off-roading. I've used it for several five-hour long stints or more. I rate it. Let's go through some of the reasons why. I think it looks the part. I mean, it's a stylish number, as you'll, I'm sure you'll agree. It's very comfortable. I quite like the sort of snug fit and the plush interior that it's got, but one of its special features, and I don't use this maybe as much as I could, I don't take advantage of it as much as I could, it's got inflatable cheek pads. So, just by pumping a little button in the chin bar here, you can make that fit between your cheeks and the helmet all that more close and supportive. One thing I especially like about it is the aperture. It's massive. You can have a very sort of unhindered view of the world. It's such a wide sort of high open viewing point that you don't feel at all restricted. And the visor itself is has very, very little distortion in it. You get a pin lock as standard. You also get a tinted visor as standard and you get the drop down visor. That just helps you on days like this where the sun can very quickly catch you out. I mean, it's hard to believe that I ever coped with switching visors because let's face it, light levels, you know, particularly when you're going through things like tunnels or when the sun just instantly appears from behind a cloud. I know it's a rare event these days, but you know, you've just got that facility to deal with it at the touch of a switch. Quite like the peak, I can tuck my head down a bit and that sort of blocks out the sun as well. I like also, and I'm taking advantage of it today, the fact that it's got a, it's got a camera mount that you can solidly mount that, in my case, a GoPro to, and feel happy that it's gonna remain secure. It screws to the chin bar, you then put your little mounting sticker joint on and attach your camera to that, but it's absolutely solid. Now you have to compromise the venting a bit when you do that, because there is a big chin vent there, and there is a couple on the top. You can close that chin vent as you might want to when it's chilly, like almost every day at some point these days. There's a little sort of shutter that you operate in the middle of the chin bar from the inside. I've got some comms attached to it as well, it's quiet enough for me to hear a good conversation or some tunes if I want those. I always wear earplugs anyway, but it is a pretty quiet helmet. I also like the fact that it's got a D-style uh, chin uh, securing uh, mounting. And those securing D-rings are titanium as well, so you could boast about that down the pub if you fancy. I like the fact that it's got a little popper as well to secure the excess piece of strap and stop it from flapping about. I mean, all round, it's stylish, it's comfy, it's quiet, it's well vented, and it costs $326.99 with patterns on it, like that, a pattern design like the one I've got now, or $299.99 if it's just a plain colour. It's Scorpion's top of the range on Adventure Helmet and uh, yeah, it gets a thumbs up from me. Mm -hmm.